The Greeley County Jackrabbits hosted the Deerfield Spartans in snow and blizzard conditions. Deerfield quarterback Christian Martinez drops back and then keeps the ball for himself for a good game. Fourth down, the Spartans look to punt. Martinez decides to run with it, but he is stopped by the Jackrabbits defense. Greeley County's Mace Bender takes the handoff and rumbles through the Spartan defense, carrying a couple of defenders over the goal line for a touchdown. Spartans try to get some yardage, but they are stopped again by the Jackrabbits. Deerfield's Gustavo Angiano takes the pitch, but stopped again by Greeley County. Jackrabbits' Jonathan Miller keeps the ball for a couple of yards. Greeley County's John Splitter tries to pick up a first down up the middle. Jackrabbits quarterback Miller goes up the middle, breaks the tackle, and goes right into the end zone for a touchdown. On the ensuing kickoff, the ball comes loose and is recovered by Greeley County's Anthony Wilson. Jackrabbits' Jonathan Miller takes the snap and this time uses the sideline to go all the way for another touchdown. Deerfield's Angiano takes the pitch, breaks a few tackles, and goes all the way downfield for a Spartan touchdown. For the two-point conversion, Spartan quarterback Martinez dropping back, and then heads towards our camera to score. As it turns out, that would be the Spartans' only score as the final was Greeley County 56, Deerfield 8. Hill City hosted Tri-Plains Brewster yesterday, and it was a cold, rainy game. Here we see Hill City number two, Reggie Jordan, makes the jump to get some extra yardage. Once again, Jordan with the ball, sprints past the defenders, and runs it in for a ringneck touchdown. And now the ringnecks will attempt a two-point conversion. And it's good. Now Brewster with the ball, Number four, Brett Gefeller, runs down the side and gets brought down by two ringnecks, but it's too late. Touchdown, Brewster. Here at number five, Adam Pfeiffer from Hill City with the quarterback keeper. He gets a good game before going out of bounds. Brewster number four, Brett Gefeller, runs down he fumbles it, but manages to get on top of it again. Here at Hill City, number two, Reggie Jordan, pushing through the middle for a good game. Final score, Hill City 22, Tri Flames Brewster 18. On to Wilson at Tescott. Here are Wilson's number 34, Cole Spears, running it all the way in for a dragon touchdown. Test gets number 21, Sam Pankow, tries to go up the middle, but doesn't manage to advance the ball. They got the spirit, how about you? Wilson, number 40, Calvin Waddington, runs up, a defender bounces off of him, and runs it in for a touchdown. And for the two-point conversion, It's in for two more points. Here we have Wilson's Kenny Steinley, number 30, as he goes all the way through the defense for another Dragon touchdown. Final score on this game was Tescott 36, Wilson 75.
On to Greensburg versus Maxville. Greensburg was trailing 44-0 at the end of the first half. Here at Greenbirds, number seven, Cody Hedrick goes to pass and it's intercepted by number 47, Adam Oak. Maxville number 17, Garrett Aids with a long pass and it is caught by number five, Evan Loomis. Here in Maxville's number 37, Mark Renfro rushes forward. Here in Maxville getting ready. And Greensburg jumps offsides, giving Maxville an automatic first down. Here in Maxville number 37, Mark Renfro pushes through once again for the touchdown. And that's it, and that's all she wrote. That touchdown makes the game 50 to zero, and the mercy rule kicks in. Final score, Maxwell 50, Greensburg zero. Haviland hosted the Moscow Wildcats last night, and both teams had to contend with a slick field and a slippery ball. Here we see Moscow number 24, Jonathan Marinquez, sprint up the side for a good game. Moscow getting ready to pass. It is fumbled, but the Wildcats managed to retain control of the ball. Here, Moscow number 28, Ismail Flores with the punt. It is caught by number three, Tanner Steven, who runs it back before getting dragged out of bounds. And here's Haviland's cheer squad cheering for their home team. Now we see Havlin's number four, Tanner McFarland. Make a dead sprint for a touchdown. However, there was a flag on the play, so it doesn't count. Havlin switches to a long pass play, but it is incomplete. Havlin's number 10, Ross Benford, with the ball, dodges several defenders, but doesn't quite manage to get gain on that play. Moscow once again with the ball, but Haviland isn't having it. The quarterback is sacked. Once again, Moscow's number 28, Ismael Flores, with the quarterback keeper, and he gets a small gain. Here, number two, Easton Bull goes to pass, but the ball slips out of his hand, and it's loose. The Wildcats get a hold of it, but it slips again. Fortunately, though, it slides out of bounds. Haviland back on, on the offense. Number four, Tanner McFarland rushes up the middle for a decent gain. And Haviland's number 10, Ross Benford, slips through the unchallenged for a big dragon touchdown. Final score, Moscow 6, Haviland 52.